Hey there Pisces, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be a reading how your person feels about you. Um, so we're going to take a look at your person, how they are feeling right now, how they see you, and where your relationship is at at the moment, where your relationship is going, and how you see your person. Okay, um, we're going to get an angel card at the end, so stay tuned to the end for that. Now, be aware that the roles can be reversed. So if they are, you know, take it how it resonates. You can also take a look at your person's sign if you know it to get more messages. And this reading is timeless. So when you see it is when you are meant to receive it. OK, so let's take a get some energy for your person, Pisces. OK, we have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Okay. For you, we have surrender. I can release my need to control. Oh my gosh, Pisces. Okay. I feel like your person is really hanging tight. You know, that you may be going through some certain things, but I feel like you have the need to sit or under the control and your person has the need to stick in there and, you know, be available to you. Okay. They're not giving up. They are, you know, hanging there. They're hanging in there for you, Pisces. Okay. So let's get some tarot cards. What does tarot have to say? How does a Pisces person feel right now? Give me a message. How does Pisces person feel? Okay, the Ace of Swords. I think a lot of things are becoming clear to your person. Okay, they feel about you. The Seven of Swords. They feel about your relationship. The Seven of Wands. How you feel about the relationship is the Two of Cups. Wow, Pisces. Okay, so let's get, let's make things more clear. Okay, so I feel like a lot of things are becoming clear to your person. I feel like your person is looking more for more clarity, more understanding. They see this as a new beginning, but there's a lot of questions that need to be answered. They're, you know, standing by, they're holding firm, they're not backing down, they're not giving up, but they feel like some things within you um, may be very secretive or hidden, okay? And now, the way they see you, Pisces, oh my goodness, um, Pisces, they see you as very sneaky, <laughs> they see you as very conniving. They are wondering why they are attracted to you. Please don't get mad at me for saying this. This is just what I'm seeing. Um, but they love you. They love you, Pisces. They're willing to stick in there and fight. You know, they're, they're not giving up. They're standing firm. They're totally defending you and ready to fight for you at any given moment. OK, but they know, Pisces, that you have these two sides. They know that there's a lot of good qualities here for you, but they know that you are also very sneaky and conniving. You know, you have this hidden way about you. You know, your personality may be very magnetic and may have drawn them into the situation initially. But I feel like, you know, this person their views need to change on how you they see you and i apologize my voice is going out now but um they want to change their view on how they see you and they're hanging in there for you they're not giving up but they see you as being very hidden very strategic you know very sneaky at times like you sometimes can't be trusted, okay? But they're they're still hanging in there. They're not going nowhere, okay? Now you, on the other hand, Pisces, of course you see this as the love of your life, as someone who is very nurturing, very supportive, very giving, 
very loving you see them as your two of cups because you see that they're accepting you for who you are they're not trying to change you Pisces because they've accepted you for you okay let's go ahead and get some clarity for Pisces let's get some clarity for Pisces why is their person the Ace of Swords right now. What's going on with Pisces person? Why are they the Ace of Swords? Okay. Because they're the Ace of Cups. Because they love you. Just like I said. They're the Ace of Swords because they're the Ace of Cups. They have a lot of love for you. Um, they're not willing to let you go. Even though some things may be hidden. They've fallen very deeply in love with you they see this as a new beginning as something that they can grow into something that can be nurtured be you know um built into something that they want to create okay why is the seven of swords here for pisces why do they feel like pisces is the seven of swords and i just noticed here that there's seven seven so seven seven may be very uh significant for you okay um why is the seven of swords here for pisces the knight of wands okay okay i get it Okay, they see you as the Seven of Swords because they see you as going after whatever you want. They see you as not standing by and just letting things happen. You're willing to make things happen. Even if you have to do something a little shady in order to get it started. You're willing to do whatever it takes to get what you want. Okay, I'm going to get a little clarity on that as well. Okay, so yeah, you're willing to go the extra mile. Now look at this. In this reading, we have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. You have this very strong energy, Pisces. Your energy is very magnetic. You're very intelligent. You're very caring, very loving. And you're also very fiery, very passionate. So I, I feel like, you know, your person sees you with all of these qualities and they see you as someone that they can build something incredible with. Okay, that is the reason why they're sticking by, even though sometimes they may feel like, you know, they don't agree with everything that you're doing or how you're doing it. You know, they're still willing to fight, to defend, to stand on what they believe in because they believe so much in you. Tell me why this Seven of Wands is here for Pisces. The star card. This is your card. They see you as a star. They see you as being very healed, very um, motivated being a spotlight so they're very attracted and very um magnetically drawn to your aura to what you bring about how you carry yourself pisces because they feel like you're the spotlight you're the center of attention you can provide that healing okay that feeling of balance that feeling of being nurtured that feeling of renewed faith okay so that's the reason why your person is not ready to surrender but i feel like you may need to surrender because your person is standing by your side okay so let's get an outcome for pisces where is this relationship going what should pisces expect next Tell me more about this relationship. Okay. We have the Seven of Swords again. A lot of things being unseen. <laughs> okay. But a lot of happiness. You're going to be happy in this situation. There's going to be th things that are not going to go your way. There's 
some challenges ahead, but I feel like you are going to learn the lessons from those challenges. You're going to learn the lessons from wanting to change your ways because I feel like the person that you're with is your two of cups. This is your knight in shining armor. This is, you know, someone is proposing some kind of information. Someone is giving you a very beautiful offer here. Okay? So I feel like, you know, you're going to be enlightened. You are going to learn a lesson and follow your right path. Because you know that that path is to happiness. Look at this. And to love. You know, this is your soulmate here. And you have renewed faith, you know, with the judgment card. It's going to be taking you out of your comfort zone and into this new ability of feeling rejuvenated happiness, you know, finding this love. Because I feel like Pisces, you know, even though you know how you are, you know, you know your your little ways about yourself and this person is finding out about those ways but i feel like you know they still love you they love you regardless of any flaws you know regardless of any challenges they're not willing to let you go okay so they've fallen very deeply for you they're falling head over heels you know they're ready for this proposal they're ready for you to pop the question or for them to pop the question to you okay so let's get an angel number for pisces what does pisces need to know what does pisces need to know okay okay we have one four three preparation Life is filled with phases. The whisper is telling you to prepare for the unexpected and allow change to pass through with a sense of peace. Financial and creative changes are upon you. Okay? So Spirit is letting you know to prepare for the unexpected because something expected is about to bring a lot of change into your life. Okay? So your affirmation, my dreams and desires are coming to fruition, bringing change that I can welcome with an open heart and mind. Okay, so that is beautiful. That is your uh, angel number. So if this reading resonates, Pisces, I hope this helped you out a lot. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising and your Venus for love in the March readings. Okay? And until your next reading, Pisces, many blessings to you. Love and light.